Hi all, it's Kate, and I did not think that I would be actually recording another video soon after my Spirit of Halloween video that I posted, and um, I just got these beauties in the mail, and um, I am so happy that I got these, um, got this deck. This deck is by Tom Benjamin, and this is... Um, the Tarot de Marseille, and it's the Halloween version, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, it comes in this really nice tuck box, and I like the fact that it has boo on the bottom, and it has these little candles, cauldrons, ghosts, and pumpkins on the side. Those are the, the suits, by the way. And on the, the, the flip side, it has the name of the Tarot deck, and has little that on here so he really did pay attention to detail and did a fantastic job with this deck and even game crafter put their um stamp on the inside of the deck i just want to make sure that you can see that so i'm going to put this down and before i get into the deck i wanted to um talk a little bit about this deck tom benjamin created this deck because he wanted a Halloween themed Tarot de Masse. He pleaded with every manufacturer, uh, Tarot creator out there, and none rose to the call. About, I would say, two and a half months ago now, probably three months ago, he decided to jump in and create his own deck. This is not a Kickstarter. This is not a traditional indie deck this is a self-created um deck and he has now have these up to game crafter and make playing cards i will have both links down below i will also have a link to his website so you can get the little white book that goes with it it's a pdf form it's really kind of um, a few pages but it has really some um, nice stuff to it and um so, in doing this, he really did a great job. He maintains that he is not an artist, and he doesn't report to be one. And um, I was mildly surprised when I watched him um, create these um, images for this deck. And I'm like saying, you don't, you don't understand, but you are an artist. You have the ability to understand perspective in some way. You also have, um, you can think, make things symmetrical. And whether you do it on an iPad that you did or if you do it by hand, you still have that creative ability. And I'm giving you um, the best possible shout out here. Also, I wanted to address something else before I get into it. I am horrible at French. I wreck the language. I have two years of high school French and probably can't read very much in French. And um, Tom has used some French within this deck to nod towards the past of the Terre de Marseille, but he also used words that might be um that he chose that it might be out of date and he chose them because he made that conscious choice to use those words those phrases that type it's not that he did not know how to um know french very well or through ignorance he chose deliberately to do that so that's that now, I really do love the backs of this this deck. Look at how cute all those bats are. Let me see if I can get this in. Let me see if I can get this in focus so you can see. Those bats are super cute. Really liked how they came out. Very happy with this. Um, I really like the stock on the Game Crafter um, cards. And, um, yeah, they, you know, they have a little bend to them, but that's perfectly fine if you want to shuffle the deck 
and it has a nice limit on it. It really feels good. They're not super glossy. They're about as uh, normal as probably, probably actually a little bit better quality than the latest round of U.S. game cardstock. Also, you know, it, it depends on which level of card you get, either from Game Crafter or Make Playing Cards. You can choose the type of um, cardstock that you want on the Make Playing Cards site. But I don't, I'm not sure if you can get this super cute box from Make Playing Cards. I think um, he said that it was a little bit more expensive to include the the tuck box with it but this is um really cool so if you can get them from game crafter this really is a nice option to do so let's go through let's give it a walk through i <laughs> really like this um fool card and i think he said that this kind of represented it himself le fool um I saw him creating this one, and I was like, wow, I, I really do like that for the magician, um, the witch. You know, she has all the tools to um, go on her journey. So she has the pumpkins, the candles, the ghosts, and the cauldron. Just really right for a witch. The La Papas. Um... I really like this card. It's really cute. Super cute. Um, not sure about the owl, but his reasoning seemed to be really, um, really interesting take on this. So it's great. I just really like the flow in the setup of, of this particular card. I'm not going to pronounce this word, but that's fine. And uh, this one is really super creepy, I think. Here is the emperor. He has his oversized candle and he is super buff. So that was that was kind of interesting as well. Li Pe Pepe, I guess that's how you pronounce it. The ghost and his um, little people that want to communicate with him. The lover card. I really do like this card. It would have been cool if he did this as both um, with witches hats. But I don't think that this is necessarily um, a heterocentric card. I think you can read the people as whoever you would like. So I love that it's the great pumpkin up here. Because he rules all. The chariot. Justice, this is kind of cool. The color isn't as vivid at, in, in real life. Um, the color is a um, little bit better through the phone. Still not bad, though. I really do like the gargoyle. I love gargoyles anyway. I think this is um, probably really cool. This is probably, um, admitting how much of a dork I am, this is probably one of my favorite of um, the majors, Li Pindu. Um, <laughs> the poor scarecrow upside down, but yeah, I actually do love this card. Death or number 13. It's cool. I, um, this was another one that I saw him um, create. I really do like this. I like the fact that she has a lot of tools in the background and she is um, gathering together her alchemy. It reminds me a little bit of 
the druid craft not in look but in feel that she is actually doing some type of alchemy the devil card the phantom of the opera i i think he's right on um spot with this i i do think that this was um a good call because he did have two sides, right? He did have this monstrous side and he did have this gentle side to him. You know, even though he was had this gentle side, his um his monster inside him is is what caused him to not be able to love in the way that Christine really needed him to be. And um I you know, I can see it, you know, it's his monster side, his violence, his, his anger, his inability to let go of those things really kind of pushed him over and made him not be able to, um, get the things he needed or deserved as a human. So kudos to him for doing this. I do have to say, I do like this tower card, too. I like the little lightning strike. I like this crazy type of woman running over to the edge. I like the pumpkins chilling out on the precipice and the water coming up. So, really nice card. I do like this card too. It's really cool. I like the trick-or-treaters and the witch here. Any card that gives me a werewolf for the loon for the moon card, I'm all in for. I really do like this this card. The mummy. Yeah, I I'm kind of grooving this. I like this too. Can Frankenstein forgive? Can the monster forgive Frankenstein? Frankenstein is not the monster. He's the doctor that created him. Okay. Um, I love that the world card is the trick-or-treat basket. Because yeah, that's, that's where all the jam is. I'm going to go through this quickly because I really do like how he um, set up the the pip style. I like this ghost for the um, for this suit. I like the pirates, by the way. Great choice. I always have a thing for pirates. I have the um, the Pirate Tarot, which is a lovely deck. Um, if you can find it, it's out of print, but it's well worth it. I really kind of grooving these candles. They're really great. I think he did a good job, paid attention to the details. I like that the bats are in it, the moon's in it. Really cool. I like that he changed the titles of the cards to be less um, gender specific. Love the pumps. I like this. This is really kind of cool. I like Haldorn's. Um, I think this is a really cool suit as well. I like how he did this to kind of mimic the um, the 
the nod to the Marseille decks of the past. As I said, the little details in here are really stunning. I think he did a really great job with that. I do like his little guy um, in the wheelchair. Uh, really cool. And there you go. I just want to cut this um, video here because I do want to get this up. It's at 15 minutes right now. So um, I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments section below. What do you think about it? Um, I really do enjoy it. I'm going to do a little reading afterwards. I, I don't think I can um, put that in here as well. So tell me what you think, say if you like it, and hope you have a spooky day.